a shot. That's a great shot by Alex Lees. Plenty of width on show. He's not tried to hit it too hard, just guided it into the gap. In the air, finds the fielder. Nazari Joseph, station at deep mid wicket. Seems to be a mentality shift from and a, a tactical shift from Alex Leaves. He's gone right over outside off stump. To some quick runs, he takes this one on over the keeper's head. And goes for four. Takes on Jason Holder comfortably over his head. And the boundary for Joe Root, his first. It leaves his crease, comes down early. Catch it, Johnny. In the air, fielder settles on that. John Campbell completes a simple enough catch. Team Joe Root come the ball before Joe's waiting back because he's expecting the length to be back. He's gone that little bit fuller and Joe's just got the bottom of the bat. Joe Root, bottom of the bat. That's a great shot. Overpitched from Elzari Joseph. Zach Crowley's not going to miss out on that. That's a crunching shot on the up. Short ball this time in the air. Jaden Seals, wonderful catch from Jaden Seals. Dipping on him. Splice of the bat, a little bit more pace from Alzari Joseph after the ball before. And look at this catch, running full stretch dive. Managed to hold it as he hits the turf. Power of Ben Stokes. That's the impact he had in the first innings and the impact potentially that he can have in this one. With the wind. Went straight and that's the danger of going straight. What a wonderful strike. Yeah, well, might you smile and applaud. That's a magnificent stroke. Well, has he got hold of that? The answer is emphatically yes. Brilliant from Lawrence, just getting himself into a real one-day position. Ah, oh, the catch. The one man within 25 metres of Ben Stokes is the West Indies captain, who takes the catch very comfortably, very easily, but he's drilled it straight at Craig Brathwaite. And just look how wide that ball was. Well, that's one way of finding the boundary. One of the few ways, to be honest, you can't play it intentionally, but you'll take it nonetheless. Now that one is a rarity. It's cleverly played, really cleverly played. Holder just outguessed for once. Four to finish the over, 133 for four. Now he's picked that up beautifully. This is where timing and skill come into play and where that little bit of an error of the line. Now this one's gone straight and it's equally well struck. Brilliant batting from Johnny Bairstow, yes. Well, Jaden Seals has gone just as far as Alzari Joseph did in the previous over. That looser on a length, dispatched with absolute impunity by Dan Lawrence. Uh, it's down towards long off, and that's a very good piece of fielding in the deep. And Jaden Seals, after that first ball disappeared for six, had just adjusted his lines. That might well be the end of him. It is. It's uh, another wicket for Seals. The West Indies will be looking at their watches and thinking, OK, that's good. More minutes tick by.
Well, we're getting another squall here. You can just hear it on the, uh, the tin roof of our uh, media centre stand end, and that means that the players will uh, leave the field. Colin will get another chance to uh, open his legs and show his class. And uh, that will be lunch. That's the channel that John Campbell, seeing the fullness of length, tried to attack perilously close to Gully. Reviewed it. Yeah, there's a spike as the ball is right next to the glove. Give you follow through to the catch, please. Yeah, I'm satisfied. The ball has made contact with the glove. I'm going to go back to draw on field. I'm going to ask you to change your out, your not out decision to out. You're on screen now. Just there. Just keep repeating there with the odd variation. Boundary. Yes, that's better. Just nice, easy drift. Got it. Saqib Mahmoud said he was ready to go again, and he's proven it after a juggling arc at slip. First catch at slip in the match. And it's assist for Zach Crawley. Shades of Cape Town in 2020. God! Whoa, what a shot. Straight, straight as straight can be without actually hitting the stumps. Take four. Aggressive stroke from Captain Craig Brathwith. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Mahmood strikes again here on day five. Saki Mahmood is doing his best to remind everyone that a bit of effort and a bit of bounce still brings rewards. Root again. In the air, airily. Airily for four. 48 for three. Huge shot might have been inside edge. That's over. That's time. I believe that's going to be T time. Yep. Joel Wilson calls over and time. It will be T here on day five. Have a look at this delivery. Kept very low. Jimmy Blackwood attempting a pull bat onto ball, onto pad, and escapes. 30 overs in this session, two wickets for England. That would have given them some early hope, but the captain and the vice captain of the West Indies team have since seen them through to the T interval at 65 for three, partnership with 26. Oh, that's the one. That is the one that Jack Leach has been praying for. Johnny Bairstow on his knees at Gully, just three yards, three or four yards in the bat. Another very good delivery from Jack Leach. Good. That's brilliant. That is a top class catch if ever there was one. With a ball wide of off stump. Jason Holder will be disappointed. All that hard work he's discipline he's shown to defend Jack Leach and Dan Lawrence and what a catch. away that'll uh, run down to the third man fence for four England uh, subfielder Matt Parkinson runs round to go and retrieve oh. pulled away Lawrence dives but it's uh, wide of him and off to the boundary the fourth for De Silva Down into the fence, and it's a, a second innings 50. 
To go along with his first inning century for West Indies captain Craig Brathwaite. And it's been a quite magnificent effort from the man from Barbados. He stood up on his home ground. And it's been the difference between West Indies going down and England going 1 0 up. Too short from Lawrence. Every now and again, these two, especially the silver, it seems, happy just to put away the really bad ball. The umpires would have taken that uh, reading yesterday, but all of that becomes immaterial. It is a draw here in Barbados. Joe Root has shaken hands with his opposite number, will shake hands with the umpires. Uh, a lot of effort has gone into this game, huge amount of effort, and a lot of the effort has been expended by West Indies captain Craig Brathwaite, who has done literally everything he can to ensure a draw for his team, to make sure the series is still tied nil all with one to come in Grenada. For this time, but the hero for the West Indies, much of his time on this field during the course of this match for Craig Brathwaite. Joe Root with 150 as well for himself in the first innings. Ben Stokes, the destruction of his knock and century in the first innings. But another stalemate 